All right, well, welcome to this meeting of the Asia Pacific Working Group, I suppose. John, I, was not, I was not here last time, so I welcome any updates on what we talked about last time. Yeah, so last time um, we actually kind of landed on this a new metric called conversion rate and the like it. Cons consensus was that we could maybe work on it just a little bit today um and then before that maybe i just wanted to talk real quickly about oh, translations down there as well mm -hmm. so um and then looks like are you uh, sure something matt yeah, of course yo no you want to share your screen? No. Oh, you just want to share an idea? <laughs> yeah, sure. All, all ideas are welcome. <laughs> Do you want me to share the notes? Is that what you're asking? Or? Yeah, I mean, I mean, you may share the notes. Yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. Um. All right, you, you've had too much coffee, huh? Uh huh. Yes, yeah, too excited. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> he has not have work to do this week. <laughs> Is it a busy week in Huawei? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, Clement, I see you're eating fruits, so that's that's good too. At least, what kind of fruits are you eating? Bananas. 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 <laughs> Energy is <laughs> working on. Yeah, I I gave it him. That's <laughs> yeah, You're welcome. That's funny. <laughs> and Shaya, it's good to see you. And what paper did you get submitted? A paper about the um, some of the some of the content of the report I shared to Kios, and I asked them if yeah, just the GitHub record stream analysis and open source software. <laughs> nice, where was it submitted to? Um, I submitted to the ICSE International Dixie. Conference of Software and- So last Friday. That's a, that's a very famous conference. Yes, yes. <laughs> so I don't have too much, I, I, I don't, I don't take, it, take too much. Yeah, no, I um, get it. It's very competitive <laughs> and very famous. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> well, good luck. Good luck. Thank you. Um, and Shoya, did did um did you get the email from Ray or um, Sophia about Chaos Con? Yes, we oh. received the email that our talk was accepted. Yeah. So congratulations. Yes. Uh, yeah. Actually, I, I want to ask uh, things is the talk that me and King, uh, King and I, we, we're gonna do it together. And uh, I want to ask the um, time frame, the, the how long the, the, the recording was required. Okay, I'll ask, um, let me, I'll put that in Slack. I think Sophia is finalizing the schedule this week and she'll know exactly, cause she's playing a little bit with time. Yeah. And, and I assume you're going to be recording it, right? You're not coming. Yes. Okay. Yes. So one of the thoughts too we were going to have is is that the recording would clearly be available as part of like Chaos Con, but then we might do like a a live stream. We're thinking about this where you and or King would be available to answer questions live. So like we would show it, you know, on Zoom here, and you would be live like this. And as people have questions, they could ask during the, the presentation. We're not quite sure what that would be, but it would be after Chaos Con. And so we would do it in a time that's friendly for you. Um, but that's a possibility too. Yes, we think we'll be uh, available for that. At least, think at least it's not midnight. <laughs> yeah, it, it won't be midnight and it maybe doesn't have to be both of you. We'll figure it out. So but that's okay. just so you know as well. Okay, okay. cool. Cool. Um, well, great. And Sean, how are you doing? I'm doing well. I'm yes. you know, just kind of waiting my way through this post-holiday week and realizing that nobody did anything really over the weekend, which yeah. is great. 
No, mm -hmm. that's that's what weekend we. It was a long weekend in the United States. It's a uh, Labor Day, so we had a three day weekend, and then Tuesday feels like Monday. <laughs> Wednesday feels like I don't know what Wednesday feels like. So, <laughs> for a funny week. All right. Uh, well, great. So the translations. Just before we get to the conversion rate. So translations. There was a question that came up yesterday in the community call. So. First is Yehoi and Shoya, thank you so much for all the work you've been doing on the translations. That's that's absolutely been incredible. Um, how do you how are you feeling just in terms of workload with the translations? I mean, the last thing that we want to do is ask too much of our community members. And so how is that going? And if there's ways that we can help. As I mentioned in the last meeting, I, I kind of enjoy this translation okay. work. And uh, during the last weekend, I have finished uh, the nine matrix translation. Okay. I have submitted as a peer, at pull request. And I, I just noticed that Kevin just uh, have uh, created another issue uh, for, for one more matrix. I hope that's the last one, right? I think so, yeah. So what we're, you know, the release <laughs> just happened. Um, or the, the freeze period just started. So we were just going through met working group by working group to make sure every uh -huh. metric. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it that's seems, great. Like, seems like because, one we didn't get, yeah. didn't make Yeah, it. because I'm thinking that uh, if that's the last one and uh, together with uh, with review and the merge, I think we can finish the, in the rest of two weeks. Okay. And, uh, yeah. Okay, so, well, you just let me know if like you're feeling like it's too much work you know what I mean? Because we can try to find solutions for that as well. No, no, I, I'm not burned out yet. So okay. <laughs> so before you're burned out, tell us, okay? <laughs> exactly, I will. Do so. Okay. And then. Um, so, okay. so how about uh, we can we can maybe we can release the, the together with the uh, English version if I think we so. can catch up the whole progress. Yes. Yeah, I think so. I think that's the plan. So I'll I'll connect with Kevin just to make sure that that's the plan. But yeah, very much so. Mm -hmm. Great. That'd be good. Um, and then in the community call yesterday, just so you know, because a number of people are on the metrics model meeting, we brought up the metrics model and the work that's going on there. And everybody was actually quite happy mm -hmm. with, with the development of that, that work. And so ways to bring. So anyway, so the very positive reception from, from other members of the community. So that's, yeah. that's great. 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 Yeah, so I think that's that's kind of the, the only updates maybe from the community that that I wanted to share with everybody here. Yeah. Um, and and we can take a look at conversion. We have other things on the agenda today, but we could um, take a look at these. Did anybody else have anything else for the for the agenda for today? No. Just want to say I haven't worked on too much with the translations mm -hmm. due to the paper, but I was started to review. Um, at the several days because I saw all the issues and poor requests and I can start review now. Okay, and for, if, the, for the PRs. If, yes. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Shaya. Yeah. Yeah, it's don't a, burn out, don't burn out, right? Yeah, don't burn out, that's a metric we have if you didn't know that in the chaos project, it's called the burnout metric and it happened, the real thing and coffee doesn't fix it. No, it turns out, no. <laughs> you can try. It doesn't work. <laughs> All right. So, and then what is the who put the last one? The contributor net recommendability. Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe Jun 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 who posted this topic, but he's not. But she's not here. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. Hey, King's here. Hi, King. Hi. Hello. Good to see you. Uh, Hi. All right. Good to see you. So why don't we take a look at at conversion rate? So Sean, could you click all right, that? Yep, that would be that one right there. You have to like right click it. Oh. Oh. Okay. And then you can open link that way. It's really weird. Oh, okay. I see. Yeah. Now. Yes. I don't know why SharePoint would do that. Like make it <laughs> so you can't just <laughs> click the link. <clears throat> Security. Everything that doesn't isn't usable is because of security. In my experience. <laughs> well, I don't like it. <laughs> it's me neither. All right. So, um, and then can you go back to the minutes for a second, Sean? Yep. 
and then scroll down just a little bit. So you see right there, help to identify conversion rate between different types of contributors. And so this was the premise of the metric and you or anybody yeah. can tell me if I misunderstand it. But the idea here is that there are what are categorized as casual, regular and core contributors. Mm -hmm. You see just a little above where your cursor is, Sean. Yep. Yep, right there. These here. Yep, and those can be, those can be um, kind of identified based on things like, like whatever activity we want to categorize those roles as being casual, regular, or core contributors. And then the question is how do, um, how do I, we identify people as moving from casual to regular regular to core, core to regular, you see what I'm saying? So like, how mm -hmm. do we understand that movement um, between roles? Yehoi, did I get that right? Exactly, you're right. Okay. Um, so the, the premise, so then go back to the conversion rate metric. Uh, yeah, metric here, yep. So what I think is, um, if we could maybe just take does any, I'm sorry, does anybody have any questions on what the premise of the metric is at a high level? All right. So uh, what we do, we to, yeah, go ahead. Shaya. Sorry, have we settled which working group to put this metric in? No, we haven't. So that could be another question as well. So let me put the, let me put the, give me just a second. I'm grabbing the spreadsheet. Okay, so here's the spreadsheet. I hope you can all see it. Sean, if you could open that spreadsheet, it's in the chat. Okay, chats, okay. Or maybe you have it open. I think I see the spreadsheet. Oh, oh. yeah, pro probably it is, but this will be in the, which working group should be looking at metrics models? No, it would either it was it it would be one of the kind of the classic metrics working groups as to where this would go. So okay, um, the could conversion rate could go in common or evolution, in my opinion. Why? Maybe value as well. I can put it. I can think of a lot of places where it would go. Can you tell me why? So evolution. Um, can the number of contributors is a basic measure. Um, and, and I think maybe it would be applicable to, and I can't remember where a number of contributors is already. It yeah, might be in common. Yeah, I also noticed that there is a focus area called community growth in the evolution. Yeah. Yep. And, and maybe we, because so, in the yeah, we have yeah, conversion please. rate, it looks like. Oh, okay. I didn't know what, I think it got put in evolution actually. And so I wasn't sure what it was, but it sounds like it's more of an in progress. Now, you know, yeah. All right. You wait, is that kind of where you see it fitting as well? Yeah, 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 exactly. Okay. Okay, great. So show you, it looks like we already had, had it somewhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I, I don't <laughs> Right, so I think maybe the, the hope would be is that we could in this project, like bring forward the work that you've done, you meaning Yehoi, anybody yeah, who's yeah. worked in the open Euler community, who's kind of looked at conversion rate and then kind of handed off to evolution and then at the evolution working group could kind of get yeah. it across the finish line for the for the metrics release. Does that work for you, Sean? As yeah, totally. Person? totally. But I think we can take time, right? We don't have to finish the yeah, right. you know, within two weeks, right? No, we can take our time. Yep. <laughs> um, all right. So typically, what I think what what would probably be in order here is we maybe take ten or fifteen minutes. I usually stop the recording here, and we all just take a little bit of time. I know Shoya, you've done this in other working groups where we just we just kind of work on um, what the metric could be, and oftentimes we spend most of our time, 
you know, in just describing what the metric is and what the objectives of the metric are. So the description of the metric, you know, would be, you know, we can just do it with, with points like this. The description is to, you know, to identify um, changing roles of contributors. Mm -hmm. And something like that, we'd probably have to define what roles is. Um, the objectives would be the same. And so we can, uh, like, why do we need to see this <laughs> is basically the objectives. So the description, so let me put that here. So maybe we could just take a few minutes and kind of start filling out some of these forms and you'd be surprised how much we actually capture. Um, and then just so it's clear for everybody, this would be like the implementation would be along the lines of like, what are we actually looking for? So the implementation could be how we define roles. It could also be what we look for in a role. So if we're just looking at issues or we're looking at commits or you know, what it is that we're looking for, like how we go about defining that. Yeah. Um, and so that's that implementation could probably be something we work on too during yeah. this. Um, any questions on that for people? Good. Either you haven't, so this is like the class that you either have no idea what I'm talking about or you understand what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's usually one way or the other. <laughs> you know, I, I have already tra translated metrics more than like uh, 30 times. So I clearly know the whole structure of the okay, metrics. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. All right, why don't I pause the recording? Hi, welcome back. We worked on the metric. Um, so, the, so the question is, is like, what are we calling a contributor? I think there's a, do you see the, right in the middle of the document, there's a, um, where Sean is showing. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Uh, like it was the, do we focus only on contributors? Do you see that comment? It's on the, it's in the implementation section. It's a comment attached to there. And then in that comment, I put a link to the types of contributions that has been defined in the chaos project. Sean, could you pull that up? I'm, I'm looking for that link. It's in the, it's in the chat. Like, or oh, in, okay. All right. The, no, not in the chat. I'm sorry. It's in the comment of the document. So if you, all right. Uh, yeah, I know, back. I know chaos, chaos has a very loose definition of contributions and yes. contributors. Basically, once you participate uh, in that community, you became a contributor. Correct. Which I, yeah, I agree with. Uh, but it's not seems to seem like the more commonly definitions that people would presume as open source software contributions, they tend to think um, contributions as code contributions. <laughs> Otherwise, you are just users of this software. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> this is just two ways of looking at it, I suppose. And Maybe. it's a, yeah, I mean, there's, there are these different ways and we've had these discussions. So when we say the word contributor, it, it usually encompasses this broad definition um, under types of contributions. And when we say, we use the term committer or code contributor yes. to distinguish between um, people who, because there are still organizations that really primarily care about code contributions. And of course, if you're evaluating developers, that's what you care about. Um, However, I think um, if I'm thinking about what kinds of things I would expect a developer to do, um, I would expect them to create issues and comment on issues and do code reviews. Um, and then I might be interested as well in some of this additional stuff down here that I've highlighted. But it's, a, I mean, I think it's, um, 
you can define the filters more broadly and then apply the filters specifically in a certain way in an organization. So the metric doesn't force you to include all of the things listed as filters when you actually run it or apply it, if that makes sense. So yeah, so, sh so what I hear you saying is we could look at, the implementation would be casual, regular, and core. And we could, from a filter perspective, just include all of those things. <laughs> I mean, in theory, yeah. we could just say, we care about all of these things to define casual, regular, or core, or we could just narrow it down to git commits. We could just filter only on git commits to define casual, regular, core. Is that what you're saying, Sean? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. You can, you, you can, right. Is it, that's exactly what I'm saying. Okay. <laughs> Because we want the filter to and figure out who is a core contributor in the git, sorry, git commit, or who would like to give our code mm -hmm. reviews. Because like maintainers, they may don't have so too many times to to contribute code, but he or she spends lots of time on code review, give comments. I think yeah. we can also market them as a as a core contributors. Yeah. Shoya, does that work with with your Question comment. Uh, yeah, yeah. So we we are not gonna to we are not going to uh, give definite um like to uh, say exactly um exactly what is what is casual or regular or core contributors. We are gonna we are not going to define that. Yeah, maybe how background or context. Yep. Okay. So maybe we should say that in the like description or overview that like we don't necessarily define the specific contribution that's necessary to define casual, regular, core. You can identify that through the filters listed below. Mm -hmm. And you can assemble those because you can assemble those in any way that suits your particular need at the time. Yes. I agree. Okay. And I, I think this month will not be changed. Either. Okay. <laughs> so the description, okay. So the description would say that something like we don't, and we, we'll fix this. Can you scroll up a little bit, Sean? Yep. So I'm in that last. So we don't um, right. define what, um, types of types or mixtures <laughs> of contributions are used to define casual mm -hmm. regular or contributors or yeah contributors um and again we'll work on the text yeah so let's just move this out. C filters for different ways that contributions could be um, identified or assembled based. Um, based on particular, something like that. Does that approximately work for people? Again, it's not, it's not perfect. We don't define, yeah, so yeah, somebody is typing in there. Mm -hmm. We don't define, but this is, I think the, the, core, the heart of this metric is just being able to, however you define it, it meaning casual, regular, core. However, you you make that definition, that you stick with that definition, and then you can observe movement of people based on that definition. And the reasons then why you would want to observe that movement is defined in the objectives. Like here are reasons why you might want to watch people move from 
casual, regular to core on with respect to Git commits or what, why you might care to see somebody move casual, regular to core on issue creation. Just looking at the list here. Yeah. Yeah. Does that work, Shaya, as well? Yes, this works. Okay. So, yeah, I, I, but I think maybe defining these roles is the most difficult part, maybe. But um, my understanding of the metrics of chaos now is um, more of um, raise the perspectives. Um, it's a perspective that people can think of, but we don't give the um detailed strategies right correct and the and so that's an excellent point um so we're trying to yes raise this perspective for people um so that they can think about uh casual regular core at least in this case this conversion rate but we found over the years that if we get too specific then we lose we lose a lot of the audience so, yeah. and it just, yeah. it becomes too specific for people. Yeah, and I, and I tried to put it in language that was more general in that comment as a guest user. Um, like basically we're not prescribing anything, but you know, some organizations might wanna look at just code contributions and then we're not, we're not prescribing the levels. Um, every project even has you know different levels are going to be a pro you know core contributor on a very stable project is going to look differently in terms of activity level than a core contributor to an emerging project uh, so you just there's some sort of heuristic logic that has to be applied when you use this or any metric as to re which is i think what matt was saying right um, that okay? you have a comment show you are you okay yeah, that that makes sense to me. Um, okay. actually, back in my paper, I defined a metric um of the activity activity level, and the most concern is um I don't have reference and I don't know if um the metric level I, I selected several behaviors on GitHub, but I don't know if they make sense. Uh, the behaviors are. Uh, contain comment on issues, open issues, open PRs to review PRs um, and merge PRs, uh, th these basic actions. But I, I don't know if they are, uh, they, if this behavior makes sense because I, I don't have uh, those standard, um, standard references. And um, yeah, that, that's, that, that, that was a dilemma I faced. Um, so I have two comments on that. Uh, one is the perspective you take is it's correct in some context in the world, <laughs> somewhere in the world, the perspective. Because, yeah, because we focused on GitHub, GitHub contributors activity. Yep. Um, it, it does make me think that maybe we could also have this conversation in the metrics model working group, because I think yeah. that that what you're basically saying is you're taking the conversion rate metric, something along these lines, right? You're looking at activity and you're trying to define the scope of activity as being meaningful for somebody, somebody out in the world. And that type of activity may be meaningful for community one, but it may not be meaningful for community two, which is completely fine. Yeah. Um, and so the metrics model discussion can help define what that community one is that would care about the definitions that you provide. Does that, like, that's what the metrics model is. Like, if you're in this, if you're in this situation, conversion rate is a metric that matters to you because, <laughs> and, and here's how you look at conversion rate in that particular context. So maybe this is something we bring to the metrics model discussion as well. Yeah. Okay. It's a very good conversation. All right. Um, any other comments on that people want to bring forward specifically? I'll talk about kind of the next steps here in just a second. But are there any other highlights that people want to talk about? Sean had talked about filters. Uh, Shai, I will talk. Yeah. I ahead. will talk with uh, Jun Zhong who proposed this. Uh, metrics 
to ask her some new ideas or some options. Okay. Was she, had, was she the one that brought forward the conversion rate metric? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. yeah, if you could share this with her, that would be great because I just want to make sure we're capturing the what she sees as the metric and then we're not doing something different. Mm -hmm. um, Yehoi, could you have, could she just comment yeah. in this document itself? That would be great. Yep, 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 okay. yep. I will do so. Cool. And then um, I'll take an action item for next time, for two weeks from now, just to kind of clean, go through the text and the comments and clean that up and provide links. Like if we need to link out to like what a contribution is, we'll just link out to the existing chaos metric definition. And, you know, Sean, if you scroll down mm -hmm. like to references. Oh yeah. Well, like yeah. I can clean some of this up as well. You know what I mean? Just so. Yeah. Yeah, so it all looks good, and we could kind of give it one look again in two weeks, and then we could probably just about ready to be handed handing off to the evolution working group mm -hmm. for them to take a look at with a different set of eyes as well. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay, I will give myself that action item. Thank you. That. Yeah. All right. Uh, two minutes. I'm back in the minutes at this. Point. All right, that's Go what on. I was thinking about. It's just right. about to ask a question. Um, to kind of clean up. Great. It's always it's always great to work on a metric and kind of see <laughs> have it be have it actually come to be and realized as it were. Yeah, like in fifteen or twenty minutes, it shows you yeah. that that when there's a good idea, um, it can get onto paper relatively quickly, and it also shows you that through the efforts of even just, you know, six or seven people on a call, what, what can be done <laughs> quickly <laughs> from a community perspective. So that's great. All right. Uh, well, that's it. Does anybody else have anything for this meeting? I think we have two more topics left. What, we have what? Two more topics, you said? Two more topics on the agenda. Yeah. Well, we have translations, which we did. Uh, -huh. uh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just want to. I, I, I did. I just want to say like, I really like. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. About translation, I just want to say I really like uh, one of the uh, metrics when I translated for the psychological uh, safety. Oh yeah, it's a really beautiful metric. Oh. Really... Uh, Elizabeth would be very happy to hear that because that was one that she had spent a lot yeah. of time on. You ready? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I read a lot. Of, even even including the reference, I I learned a lot. And also, I I found a a, a change. Uh, I mean the the metrics release style change. I I could say that because, um, I find I I found some of the metrics. Uh, it's it's not that. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, a complete. Uh, I mean. It's kind of simple, but um, it, which means we don't have to make it perfect in one release. We can polish it time by time. Mm -hmm. It uh, could, uh, you know, welcome more contributors to contribute metrics mm -hmm. to to the community. I really like this style. Great. We um, keeping them simple is uh, something that we kind of focused on yeah. probably yeah. a year and a half. Yeah. Ago. Yeah. I mean, the perfect uh, it's not a start point. We can keep it going. Yeah, right uh, now. Make it, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really good. Cool. Yeah, uh, and uh, and maybe we can have the last uh, maybe one two minutes to to open up uh, uh, the last topic. Sean, uh, can you open that last metric there? Mm -hmm. I can right click and open link. Oh, yeah. I just call it a contributor night, right? Recommendability that. Yeah, something it's like okay. question. How likely is that you as a contributor to recommend community or project to other people? So it's like score from 10 to zero. Uh, sorry, uh, from, from zero to 10. Yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, you can see the uh, contributor not recommendability mm -hmm. is uh, the result from the percentage of promoter minus the percentage of detractors. So mm -hmm. we 
we categorize the uh, uh, contributors upon the, their answers to this question mm -hmm. uh, as a promoter, passive, and the detractors. I like so, this. yeah, the objective of this yeah, metric is that to evaluate uh, contributors' general loyalties to, to community because, but I don't want to say loyalties uh, as a metrics name because it too senses a incentive. I mean, loyalty is often for a family or country to your wife or, 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 or husband. So I, I use this recommendability and as a, to show the meaning. And also the, the object, another objective to figure out why contributors would leave your communities, mm -hmm. even prevent others from, from joining. So upon the feedback from contributor, uh, community would set up a I would say that close the loop process to prove to improve the community. So um, after I ask this first question, how likely is that you as a contributor to recommend? Then the second question is really based on your answer, the uh, result of first question. So if you don't like it, so uh, I would never recommend because so based on the uh, your answer, I will uh, handling if anything wrong. Uh, and it's wrong in my community. I would imp I should improve that. Mm -hmm. And also, if the answer is like yes, I really like this community. I also would like to recommend uh, this community to to my friends. Then I you you can tell me the reason. I can keep keep it better, make it better. I mean. So so is the goal here to be um, surveying people about their perspectives on a community or to be deriving it from the kinds of communication they have around the community like on mailing lists or issues yeah or... i mean the, both i think because okay. I, okay. yeah yeah first i i, I want to evaluate the con con contributors the general authorities to to my community or project to see how how it's going in my com communities because we always getting uh, or evaluate such status from some Data getting from REST, getting from the REST API, like get commit, get comments, but uh, we can also treat this um, let our community members to answer this question directly. I want to communicate with with them face to face or by this question, so I can get direct answer. You like it or you don't like it. So that's my purpose. So I, I like this, um, Shauna. In the yeah, I, I do too. I think I think the developing into a metric is a good idea, and we just have to define it. To decide if um, there's one metric for survey oriented data and another metric for data that we derive from project or project directed communication, and then we identify the sources for that. Uh, and Yehui, uh, I think we can also consider it as a evaluation model for metrics, uh, because I think the this metric is mixed with other uh, yeah, 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 metrics. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Also, so I think yeah, just like a conversion rate, we can also pop up it uh, with uh, in the metrics model together with other metrics, because when the user, when our uh, contributor told us that uh, I don't like it because your first response time is too long, then yes. which means we can combine these two, two metrics into uh, as, a, as a model to evaluate and uh, the whole status. Jotting this down in the minutes. As a, a perhaps in the community growth, if you recall, yeah, it's yeah. like a focus area in our metrics models. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, okay, great. All right, so, oops. um, so I jotted down a few things. So, I think for next time, uh, I'll take a look at the conversion rate and kind of clean that up. And I'm, it, I'm, I suspect we could probably spend some nice time on what was just shown. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. Recommendability. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We could probably follow the same model. That worked really great yep. today. It's, yeah. it's, is, it right, is it a word, a correct word, recommendability? 
Because I, I always got the the wrong wrong index. It's not it's, it's apples. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> um, yeah. I want to figure out it's, if it's a correct or something. Maybe you can give it a better name if you have. And it's not. A, it's a so the English language is pretty malleable. <laughs> <laughs> it's, <yeah. laughs> it's okay. It really is, yeah. okay. <laughs> so I think it, it, the point is is delivered, and so it's good. All right, great. Well, this is wonderful. Right. Yes, thanks, everyone. Sean, you can stop, stop the share. Share. Um, all right. Well, until next time. Again, you know, we'll, we'll we'll see most of you next next week in the metrics model discussion. Yeah, it's exactly. Yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah. It's now off on this one. So, all right, everybody. <laughs> all it's right. Good to see all you. Right. Thank you for everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.